and we're live. We're live? Absolutely. Live. Live. Wow, how'd that happen all of a sudden? I'm smart. And here we are. You are smart something. And uh, it <laughs> is, well, in, in a perfect world, that is. And that's where we're at right here at reallibertymedia.com right now at uh, rlmradio.xyz. We're uh, con- contrasting the occupation. And uh, a lot of people might wonder what that is. Is Oh, we'll get to that in the time that we do the show. Don't tell them everything uh, so, all in the first hour. Make them, oh, no, make no, them no. sweat. Uh, uh, we'll play well, government. This is, uh, yeah, you're Flash Nasty, and uh, yeah, I'm Vinny Verbose. Uh, very Flash and Nasty. And we're uh, host today for a little while. This is the uh, Not Safe for Work radio show edition. And uh, <laughs> with You'll Make a Sailor Blush, Flash Nasty, and a Man of Few Words. That's me, Vinny Verbose. Yeah. Thanks, uh, uh, Nick Graham. Oh, yeah, you're a man of few words, all right. Uh, uh, uh. Well, now you're, being, uh, now you're being quiet. <laughs> nah. who, okay, what? Let's get, is, uh, let's get this is, thing uh, rolling. Is, a, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm confused. Who's uh, who's Cowboy talking to? I you? Special I knowledge or esoteric? No idea. Perhaps impossible. Wait oh, he's talking wait to me. A minute. We'll, we'll throw in something. Oh, there you go. I've got a bag. Yeah, I've got a bag I've started for you. So I'll leave it on your porch. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it on your porch. Oh, I forgot to do the show now. Oh, he's talking about your Vinny Vinny RLM radio name, not us. We're doing in a perfect world where everything is perfect. Except you. But we'll fix that in time. Trust me. I think well. Okay. Let's say hello that. to the crew and where we go out and all that crap. Get that over with. Then we can start you know debating where? the... No, I don't know anything. But we can start debating the, the big important issues when we're done with doing that. you think we'll ever get to that point? I have no clue. Of a debate? When did you I say do, debate? When I do the radio with you, I never really know what's going to happen next. Did, uh... did, you say, did you say debate? I uh, I was headed in that direction and caught myself. Is sir. that like unhooking? No, it's like You're like off the hook. What off the hook? No, but I'll get back to it later when I tell you about that new show I caught today. All right. Yeah, but well, first say hello, say man. Hello to the people. Hello to the people and the the bots, they the barmans at the tops. They must be greeted. He's a he's a great and mighty bot. And Cowboy Tech is here, and he was uh, hey, Cowboy Tech. some uh, special or esoteric knowledge. Maybe just a little gossip. Maybe. Uh-oh. What did I do? Uh-oh. I uh, accidentally blinked Vinny out while he was right in the middle. of. I was trying to add something, and I cut him out. <laughs> Train wreck. What See? You you I, I was trying to type hey. something like I told you I shouldn't. And you told me too, so I did it, and I cut you right off. <laughs> I'm really bad with the computer. You know that. Sorry, Vinny. Continue. <laughs> this is getting I to be a normal them, thing, though. Shit. You know, nah, I don't matter. Now when I do my solo shit, you know what I've been doing lately? <laughs> Hitting the, the mute back. button <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm right in the middle of a rant. And just blink. <laughs> it's always good. I did it for like it's 15 fun. minutes one time. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you i needed a kick anyway we're 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 at the real liberty. we're gonna say hello yeah, yeah we, we real... said hello to bar man he's real... the uh oh, he's the guy that yeah he's got the broom to hand you yeah like that's gonna happen well hey and cowboy cowboy tick no, there's grimner you know push the crumbs on the floor and call the dog that's how i sweep Good for you. I'm a smarter than a dog, baby. You figure it out. Hi, Moosey. There's the Moose girl. She's on the loose. And Kate. Those are our, our administrators here uh, doing the administrative type of things. Kicking bots and ah, all that. Ooh, whatever them good. things are. Yeah. Those. I tried doing that stuff one time before. <laughs> and I didn't like it. You got to huh. be able to listen. Vinny, you, you can't do all the talking in those kind of positions in life. Uh, <laughs> really? 
<laughs> All right. So look here. Here's our new feature. Yeah. Uh, Grim just uh, added. And uh, Art Underground, he's the new, new host coming up right here. Uh, so he's going to have some, uh, some radio, straight talk, following Hal Anthony behind the woodshed, Sundays at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern. And uh, I know Art from back when UCY started, and uh, that's where I, I actually started, you know, getting my, finding my voice was with uh, Art and, uh, well, from uh, James Freeland. Uh, and then, but, but really just developed a lot with, uh, with Art. And got c- kind of comfortable with uh, talking on radio. Ah, so look forward you've to come along. Look way. forward to listening, right? Yeah, um, Art. He's uh, he's uh, well. I just won't sugarcoat anything. He, he's pigheaded, and uh, so I think it'll be interesting to uh, uh, hear what he has to say and see where he's uh, gone from where he was at back uh, from UCY. Uh, uh, that's, not that. that's, that's not an insult. That's not an insult. Everybody is what? pigheaded. <laughs> more of yeah, it. I know. <laughs> but a new addition to the RLM star lineup. Ooh. That's right. And uh, he's also going to be doing, let's see if this will bring it up. The, uh, I don't know. You uh, said hi to like <laughs> up to Kate and then you changed well, topics. No, no, no. I got to. No, I, I muted uh, you. Right? Our underground and anti came in. Okay. So hello, there anti. Oh, hey, wait a minute. You don't do the radio though. He just chats no. with us. He don't like us enough to get speakers. <laughs> no, that's Beetle. <laughs> I was close. I knew it was somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so here's here's Renegade. Uh, it's uh, Rock and Renegade with Art Underground and Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 p.m. Uh, to midnight Eastern. He's going to play some music. And uh, right here, the uh, RLM Radio.xyz. You can tune in and listen to that. Tune in chat. Well, that Welcome sounds along. really good there, Vidi. Okay. There's Chalcedoni. Chalcedoni. You know him? No. Circle? I bet you know her. Oh, I know Circle very well. Oh, yes. I, I love can him. see the Circle over there on the couch. It's around and around. I told her not to move Hi, until I was done with the radio. <laughs> Chloe can't listen because this is uh, not safe. For work. Potty mouth yeah. radio. Oh. That's all right. Yeah. We we don't appeal to the voting class out there anyway. You, you don't. Don't include me with you. Then don't do the show with me. Well, I because you're fifty you know, percent of this rules. mess. No, I cannot rules? make rules for you. Rules. Yeah, I rulings. Can only, I, rulings are not rules. You bonehead. You know what? Uh, Anarchist is is uh, not no you. Rule. So I'm not gonna. I'm not rolling over you. I oh, can only okay. contrast you, right? I don't. And know. that's the whole purpose of the show. Is it well, not finish saying hi to the people before we get? No, I'm not up. going to. You're not going to say. It. All right. Um, say, okay. Let's no, see I would. Where we at? Okay, hi, Cybernoogle. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. Continue, <laughs> slave boy. <laughs> <laughs> What the DC? What was it? Uh, decoy duck? What the hell? I, he had a really good. Uh, yeah, he puts decoy ducks on the on the. Yeah, f- I love screen, it. So yeah. you go chasing after these fake ducks, and then he goes, "I know, a real one." <laughs> I, I suckers I in he, the screen. He comes land. in as uh, BLM fluke, which uh, is the imitation name of uh, the bot down there that does things for us over here, and so he gave me the great idea. And I came with the RLM flute, and so yeah, we uh, we throw some uh, decoys out there. It's great fun. Yeah. He got me the other day. Ah, good <laughs> sock, for you. Sock puppet, yeah. Sock puppet said he got him at five in the morning too. So <laughs> did you get the complimentary reach around too, sir? Uh, no. Oh. At, oh, you were shortchanged. Just... Did he at least reimburse you for your parking? Never mind. <laughs> you don't drive. There's uh there's Echelon. Oh, and, we're back to the names. Okay. Yeah, and there you are. Hey, there's me, but without the nasty. Yeah, misspelled. I know. Yeah, I forgot. I, somebody nasty. I'm not changing it. It's gonna. Stay You're retarded. So no worries. Wow. Ah, B D on C. Wow. Hey, Don. And Kozu. Only one Kozu this Just time. Just one. Uh, Layer eight. Uh, yeah. Layer Mies- seven. Meister. Brown. Hey, Woody. Woody. Uh, 
Who do we got? Only Pox. two. Yeah, Pox. just two. Yeah. He cut one back. side, one phone. He cut back he on his boxes. Uh, he must be. Uh, must the shots must be working? I would assume. Mm -hmm. The shots must be working. <whistles> wow. Yep. Continue. Rain, but it ain't purple. Yeah. You can still no. read, right? No. Oh, okay. Rain. I'll finish it then. There's Fluke. Uh, yeah, Fluke. There's Rob Works. He's a hey, uh, bubbler. Uh, the bubbler. Uh, he he likes to call me a statist or statist. How do you pronounce that? I don't know. I don't really care. I ain't one. It's like nigger. I ain't a nigger, so you can call me a nigger all you like. Nigger, nigger, nigger. I just grin at you. Doesn't you bother me it. none. If you're <laughs> stating it, yeah. You're then what? I don't know. Then what? You're calling me a you're name. Statist. I don't really. Come on. If you're I'm, a statist. You just said it. If that's a bad thing, I, I like it. Hey, thank you, Cyber Noodle. And, uh, Ooh, skip. Cyber Noodle. Taste the flavor. Ah, oh, the flavor. Or the rainbow. Yeah. Hey, that is a, that's a pretty cool uh, little quacking thing going on there. That Cyber Noodle put it down. Uh, see it? No. Well, you know, you don't see it in the chat? I'm busy doing other things. You're reading names. Well, uh, well, that comes up to uh, a couple of uh, the mini Vinnies of uh, me. Hey, thanks, Sock, for that uh, that link. We found every one of the uh, Nicks that I've used, and I think there's 60. Yeah, the Smithsonian's opening up a new wing to store your names in, Mr. Vincenzo. That's so cool. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Look, there's the uh, there's the working Vinny, uh, Vinny RLM Radio, and uh, followed by... This guy talking right here was so little to say. Uh, Vinny Verbos. Wow. Kind of like a, like a phantom man, wow. right there. Do you, hey, do you have a mirror I, while you do the radio so you don't feel alone? No. You should get one. Why? Because I said you should. What? You got to question me? I'm the authority here. Doesn't Damn it. Make sense. I'm in As charge. Oh. Do as you're told by God. Asmo. As, uh, Asmo 2 Asmo Colfax 101 Colfax I was uh, for, yeah, for some reason uh, when I say Colfax I always think of uh, the Dukes of Hazard and uh, what's the sheriff's name I don't know <laughs> you never I, watched the Dukes of Hazard no, Them Dukes I, Dukes. no not really Roscoe P. Coltrane yeah right there would kind of bore me into something else wow Roscoe P. I had no but, idea I don't want to watch Roscoe P on a you train. You didn't ever a watch kind of weird Burt TV you're watching. And stuff like that. No, and is there, hey, there's a there's a Canadian you haven't said shit to yet, man. What is it? Talking about Dakota? That's not the one connected. after Dakota. No, Frumpy. Aha! You knew Frumpy. Never mind. Mm. Yeah, he's representing Mr. There. Trudeau here at the uh, in a perfect world program. If I knew how to do that fucker's voice, I'd have him on the show and do him. <laughs> Talk. <yeah. laughs> Gromit. Java Doctor's here a couple of times. Hey, Java. I, I, yeah. I fell a, a radio guy here from uh, Scotland uh, or Ireland. I always forget. JJ's nine <laughs> and Sock Scotland, Puppet. Right. Yeah. Uh, comes at the bottom here. Very good. That's a. Oh, yeah, uh, so Sox says that's a script that he runs uh, that keeps track of Nick's and IP's. Here, yeah, gonna... I, I thought it was very cool. Because I was kind of wondering, um, because I don't want to keep uh, – I, I can recycle so many of these uh, these Nick's. They're, they're not like uh, – Oh, know, I don't want to do a show about up, your uh, Nick's, Vinny. I got something else on my shh. mind. Hold on, I wasn't done. Well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you said a few words, now you won't shut up long enough for me to introduce the topic. That – that is, yeah, that is the big joke about it. In a perfect world, I'd have had you shot about ten minutes yeah. ago. Uh, <laughs> you're, I, I think you're revealing yourself as a Nazi. I'm going to have to ask you some of these questions I was asking earlier. Yeah, and uh, see if uh, you can answer these honestly. Okay, but I'll wait for right now. Yeah, yeah. Look, I wanted to to uh, start the show out with something I found today. It just tickled me fucking pink, and it made me think. Let me see if I can stop it so it doesn't talk over me. Yeah, nope, there he goes. All right, got it. It's a, it's a link off of, I guess, 
I don't know what the source is. Oh, it says YouTube up on the top, so probably a YouTube link. But it's called Law Enforcer Challenged. And in, then in quotes, cops are criminals, right? And it says tough statements for a cop during live stream debate. So what they did, they live streamed it, but here's the video of the live stream. And what we got is a cop and an anarchist sitting down together and actually discussing this shit. The cop was more evasive than the anarchist to get an answer out of him. But these guys did really good on explaining what exactly it, it do the anarchist-minded people want out of this shit. So I'm going to put a copy. I put it up earlier, but I don't think anybody even noticed. This time, I'm doing it on the radio, and I'm saying <coughs> if you're interested in this shit, take a copy of it, and it, it might it's worth a listen. Thank you, Vinny. Uh, what, uh, so tell me what you got out of uh, watching this video then. Well, a lot of it sounded familiar, like stuff that, uh, let's give names, Rob Works, Grimner, you, me, and uh, a few others. But, you know, those top four people that are the harshest on the police are the ones that sounded the most like the anarchist in this uh it wasn't a debate. It was more of a discussion. Trying to explain to the public from the anarchist side why the fucking law is so wrong. And he gave him a really good breakdown of it. I don't want to do the show for you. I, if you want to know, you got to go look at it yourself. But I think the guy did a really good job of it, of explaining what he thinks an anarchist wants out of the law. I, well, I'm going to tell you. As I describe, my, I'm a self-described anarchist, but uh, a lot of people really, really, and I've said this so many times, don't uh, do not understand. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think it fully. Um, what I want out of a cop, I want him to uh, uh, catch uh, murderers and thieves and rapists. Um, I don't. What I want, don't want him to do is is uh, uh, harass me for, uh, especially like, let's say, just driving down the road and then pull you over and. I want to search your car, and if you smoke weed, you know, you better be smart, and I've probably not brought it with you. Uh, you know, you, you're gambling with your life and your, your liberty and uh, with with your finances to, uh, you know, to consume a, a, an herb. You know, so as far as crimes go, I guess, that you know, that would be held against me. I guess that'd be the only thing. Now, they passed medical marijuana here in Arkansas, but two years later, and there's still no... Uh, Nobody growing it and no place to go get it. So, you know, what are you supposed to do? Well, you're waiting for Bear to get the, the next batch together. You're not, I don't yeah, think well, the government, it, I don't think the government's going to sell you anything that's not government approved. And if it's government approved FDA, it's probably synthetic or some weird frankenweed that has side effects that you don't want. Well, I'll tell you what just happened here local. They went and busted a guy for one plant. Uh, had it hanging there, 72 grams, <laughs> 72 right. grams, and then they busted them for it. Wow. Uh, fishing, fishing gang was in on it. I, they probably seen it flying over uh, one plant. You know, maybe there's not, there's, I guess they've run everybody else that's tried to grow or caught them and uh, grow anything, you know, bigger than a, a tomato plant <sighs> patch size. You know, Except, 73 uh, grams is not quite three ounces. It's nothing. Yeah. It's a sneeze. And it Come was. On. It's probably wet too. Anyway, cop, one plant. Cops to get to bust three. Okay, yeah, whatever. So, anyways, the fishing game was in on it. Jay Hagens, I'm sure, was there. Uh, and I talked to him before. In uh, like, what do you use? Infrared, this and that. And he said that stuff pops out, man. You see it. Uh, a few years ago, they were doing uh, uh, some flying down down along the river and. Uh, Anyways, I was up doing some uh, work on a, with the bulldozer, and uh, they had National Guard, they had uh, uh, DEA, they had state police, and uh, local uh, sheriff's department, and just flying around looking for plants. They, crazy, but I, I so played. They, some, uh, they spent more money looking than they gathered in their great bust. I mean, would it cost uh, to fly I, a helicopter around? Come on. Crazy, huh? Yeah, you crazy. know how cheap three I ounces figure they could find nothing, and they got like, go for one plant. That was crazy. 
No, that's just, but they, that's see how the, the fishing game, the game warden, he's always in on uh, bust because they have uh, a, a broader range of uh, power that they don't need uh, uh, search warrants and stuff like that to go in on somebody. But they did serve this guy with a search warrant before going in on him. Oh, that makes it so much different. You know, we're in an age now that most people can't spell search warrant, <laughs> let alone define it. So, do I don't have a lot of live? faith in the society that we have surrounding us at this point in time, sir. Where where would I look to check for the spelling of that? Uh, I suppose uh, on your computer. Why, were you going to try the smoke signals again with the Indians? No. This is uh this is from Art Underground. He said if you're driving, uh if you're driving you have a license. If you have a license, you're under contract. If you're under contract, you have no rights. Sucks to be you. Well, I'm gonna tell you a lot of people uh, misunderstand and they, that to a degree, yeah. Well, a lot of people that are called sovereign citizens or this <laughs> that. Wow. No, they uh well, Captain Carl, uh, a friend of mine, he was uh in the uh he was out in Bunkerville up in Oregon in the standoffs. Uh, I, I spent some time. I stayed. He and I stayed with Brand out there together for a little while. Uh, I was there over a month with Brand. Great guy. I have very strong disagreements with both those guys, and they're uh, they're wanting to build a wall. And just for short example, but yeah, uh, Captain Carl's got arrest warrants in, in uh, Florida and Wisconsin uh, for you know not having a driver's license you yep. know and those whatever. are real yeah they'll collect yeah. on them they'll even take you across state lines to collect on them well some states will and some states well won't. pretty much it's a business come on this they is don't have uh, 2018 extradition for that there you know what but he got busted too what they'll make extra believe me this system is so corrupt and so broken all it runs on is money they don't give a shit if well, you're guilty or not once they got you they got you it's changed. Well, I'm going to tell you this. If Captain Carl's going to happen is they're going to set him up one day and gun him down. Hey, you know who That's I cool. would have liked to see him get nominated for the uh, – now that, that all that Kavanaugh shit's over, I came up with two guys that would have filled it, filled that seat way better. So I thought maybe somebody will knock off Ginsburg real soon, and I got two guys to replace him. But I picked a third at the end. I was First, I was leaning towards Steven Tyler of Aerosmith. I thought, hey – that bitch knows how to fucking have an argument, right? But then I started to think about it, and I went, well, he is kind of worn looking. Let's go with Keith. What well, Keith isn't, he's not American. So I finally ended up with Bob Dylan on the Supreme Court for uh, to replace Ginsburg. What do you think? Am I on to something here? Yeah, you're on something. Wait a minute. Are you making fun of my Supreme Court nominee? Yeah. Is it any more ridiculous than this idiot that they put on there the other day? Well, you know, the the, the big problem here with uh, Kavanaugh, of course, is uh, he's, you know, part of the uh, the problem on the inside. And the, the ones that are, you know, making the laws and the, this uh, stuff that came out of the uh, uh, the Patriot Act, Act and all that. Hmm. And the uh, the right is just praising him. You know, I. I been supporting the bunnies for a long time yeah. a lot of people that have yeah. are, are are on that kind of uh, side level there are real strong trump supporters and um kavanaugh it's the bandwagon i don't ride on it i don't don't uh, he's dangerous no. this is the last oh. nail in the coffin that's what i think i think i think it's all over soon whatever it is is going to slam somebody real hard soon we're way overdue. Mm -hmm. Hi, Chloe. Are you listening? As the Not pendulum work, swings. Edition. You know what I mean? It and, and it's not like I, I care for these Republicans any more than I do the Democrats. It's like the guy at Art that doesn't know you enough. He's never listened to you enough to know that sovereign citizen is a freaking oxymoron in this world that we discuss this in. So if you got to wonder what Vinny thinks about it, you don't know Vinny that well. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah. Uh, Art. Uh, yeah, you, you've not uh, kept up with my uh, travels and reportings. I've. You know, I'm not there's somebody sitting on the radio uh, here on the Internet. Yak and I, I went out to it. I was part of it in 2014 and there. And I spent a lot of time 
uh, not only there, but went to California and to Denver and to Salt Lake City and um, did a lot of great uh, interviews. A lot of, you know, these people are, are good people, but they're, they're different. They're trying to um, uh, change this uh, occupational force that's against us uh, that we live under. And there's a lot of mistakes being made. And they're going and they are hammering these people, setting them up. They send in the FBI uh, undercover. And, and they're not there just to, you know, like collect evidence. They're, they're there to facilitate crimes, make suggestions, try to. Uh, uh, and they've done it. They, they get these oh, idiots over and over and over for how many yeah. years? Come on, since the 30s. They keep doing it. Yeah, they, they make came laws. At me. The FBI is notorious for it. They make up a law and then arrest you for the law they wrote that you broke. Income tax. Well, they'll, I'm Income talking about tax they'll evasion yeah. didn't exist yeah. until Al Capone made more money than they did and they wanted their cut and they couldn't get it. So what did so they do? Our, they went, hey, let's get him with this new law called income tax evasion. What the fuck? Income tax evasion. Please. Well, That's just the real thieves stealing from the I'm going to tell you, what, what? what's happening here is the countering all of this is they're not uh, they're not going to just make them, uh, you know, try to get them because they're not breaking any laws. So they have to have them break a law. So That's they what need I was to getting people at. that are stupid I, enough I was to with you. fall for it. Yes. They approached me, the FBI is, you know, want to test me out. No, we've, we've discussed this before. Can you be? I was no, going to. I was going to lean more towards a perfect world than the world we got stuck with, with all these voting people. You know, because I don't think the voting people understand that if you don't want to participate in this system that we've got, they trap us before we got a, uh, an option. There's no option out. You're, you're born. They slap you with a birth certificate. Then they give you a social security number. Then they lie to you for 18 years, and then they throw you out in the street and tell you, okay, figure it out. <laughs> that's, that's American life. <laughs> it's, you know, the, the problem's uh, not voting. The, the problem is what's supporting uh, allowed the, to be voted okay. on. So, no, fuck all that. Supporting this shit has gotten so fucked up over the years that the people that support Israel do not understand honestly what israel has done and they're misguided through religious ideals and educational standards and political sides and all this crap that has nothing to do with what the fuck happened because <laughs> they write the story to suit the fucking crime they they make a script what they do they go in and they uh then they go in and they they push people into playing positions mm -hmm. as players. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they force somebody. Sometimes they trick somebody. Um, in, in any number of ways. They set up this scenario that they bring into court. And the government is the victim. Now, the government, the purpose of government is to p protect the individual's uh and then you get these, you know, words from, like, from the government. Yeah, you're supposed to be protected from, anybody, from yeah, the government, sure. not a victim of the fucking thing. That's right. why I'm so harsh on these voter people is they don't see the chains, how the chains have tightened around our collective ass throats for the last 50 fucking years. You don't have to be smart to know that you don't have any damn freedom. I mean, if unless well, I've, maybe I've, I've well, got wait, a lot me, of freedom. Don't don't let me, get, let me say yeah. this though. Maybe if your your interpretation of freedom is limited as from childhood and you don't really know what the fucking word means, you might grow up believing, hey, freedom is going to school and getting a job and buying a house. That's not freedom. That's marriage. Well, freedom is. Uh to be able to do and express yourself self any any way that you uh, would like, as long as it's not a, uh, uh, causing ill to something else or somebody else. Look at uh, what people like, complain let's about say now, Vinny. You, you can't take a 55-gallon uh, drum of oil and go dump it out in the, the gutter, right? That, that's crime, right? Right, okay. Uh, Who has a 55-gallon drum of oil to do that with in the first place? I don't have one. Well, there's a lot of people that would. Do? Well, 
Okay. If you had a garage, if you was a mechanic, you changed oh. oil. It don't matter. I'm just giving an example. What uh, What are you not free to do? Common sense dictate. Tell me something. Tell me something <coughs> that you would like to do that you're you would not be free to do in the out right here in the Whoa. states or there. <laughs> well, anywhere not allowed legally would be to dump. That would just so you'd like sense. to dump. No, you said You'd some, like to, oh, something I'd like to. Well, yeah, if I had a place and it was, you know, making me money and I uh, had this responsibility and I could just dump it somewhere I, to make more money. I mean, that's the whole fucking point of making money, isn't it? Isn't that what these people do now? What? Why would I be changing anything if I didn't go along with what's already happening? All right, you lost me there. Let's back look, up. Look at you the say, fucking water. No, no, no. Oh, no, Hold no, on. no. Back they up. Dump shit no, in the water. We got to back up. Why? They you do, didn't... and that, that's how it works. Then they yeah. pay off their uh, uh, fines, and uh, right. which is a lot cheaper than the, you know, didn't, nothing compared to the profits they made. And they go on, it's just a matter of doing business. Then that's the corporatocracy. I, I'm, why be I'm talking. Clean? Just do it and make money. That, you put me in a position. If I was in in a business to make money, I would do whatever I needed to do. To you make would the fucking money. Hell yeah, you would. That's personally. why I'm not in business. Yes, absolutely. I'd be as cutthroat as I could <clears throat> to make the money. That's what money is for. You get out. Okay, there and you there's uh, a. Let me let, let, let me stop you. All right. Uh, what, 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 Look, what, what, there's what? a there's a train a coming, and it's got right a a, a split in it. Now they have uh, a family tied up on one track and there's uh, some fat guy on the other track and you're standing there at the lever. That's all you can do is decide which way that train goes. What are you going to do? It goes over who and who? Oh, it goes over some old fat ball guy or a family over on the left. And I got to pick one. Yeah. Why? What's your choice? Why I'm just making a point. Why? Oh, because you are there. You happen to be there on well, the spot. I'd have to it's go like, for the bald guy and hope the family made it. Just the decent thing to do in the long run. That's that's what uh, like ninety something percent of people yeah. will say. Yeah, because it's a family traditional thing. Yeah, you have to go with the less popular of the two. Yeah. Like like voting, yeah. picking the lesser of two you would, evils. No, thanks. you wouldn't have had the information that the let's say the the fat bald guy. He was a yeah. scientist that yeah. had the and I'm going to yeah, just yeah. use this example. I had the cure to ca for cancer. And the uh, the family over there, they were uh, this uh, serial killer group that had been uh, uh, eating people for years. True. So you didn't have the information to right. know that. Right, right, right. right. Yes. That's why I didn't want to answer the damn question in the first place. Well, no, we got to – because we got to answer some tough questions in, in a, a perfect, perfect world. world. Yeah. Yeah. In a perfect world, but, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't even have to deal with all this shit. <laughs> If we lived in a perfect world, we wouldn't even know there was no there'd be no such thing we as don't. boredom or no, we don't. And it's a product of a fucking plan. And it's working to this day. And it's getting bigger instead of smaller. I mean, as much crap as people have proven to be bullshit over the mainstream media over the years, right? Here we are. And all it took to get American, the American public in an uproar through the through the media, through what we see on the internet screen, is some stupid pick for a, a group of nine. I mean, what? That's all you got? You get all worked up over which dumbass sits in the fucking seat? They're going to be told what to do by the same people that told the other guy what to do. So all this, oh, now we got five to four bull. It's a scam. You're you're getting worked. Look at the results of the Supreme Court rulings of the last 50 years and tell me any of it's ever been for the good of the people. It's good for the good of the corporation. Then when you find out you are a corporation and there's really no way to be compensated for your trouble, <laughs> it's just a title. <laughs> there's no real money connected to it. Then what do you yeah. Trumpy makes a good point. In there. What? Uh, oh, you're reading on well, negligence. I'm ranting. Yeah. Oh, there's there's like there's no... There's no accidents. Now, Bob Ross will say uh, that there's no accidents, only uh, happy, happy trees. Mm. So, well, Grimner, why, why did you say kill the family, Grimner? <laughs> You're going to make him talk. <laughs> oh, sure. He's not. A, why but you, you, what? 
Get him on here. You, you, you don't want to talk to me. You want to talk to Grim. Why don't you just replace me with him, and you can talk to Grim. I'm sitting Listen, right suck here. It you up. Nugget. Suck it up. Suck it up, Buttercup. Listen. Don't hurt me. You feelings. didn't answer my question. No, I never do. I try not to. Yeah. yeah. That's. What for? Is this a Go perfect back. world? <laughs> do you care what I think about anything, really? <laughs> Come on, Vinny. We're just, but, listen, we're just having no, a, wait a little, little fun. Yeah. I, I mean, but if if we really and I take my glass off here, so I, I am reading. Uh, oh, serious we, moment. Okay. If we're if we're really wanting to uh, take a look at the world, we gotta take a look at ourselves first, right? Mm, I'm a rather uh, handsome striking fellow, huh, honey? There you go. I can do that. All right. <laughs> no what what do you see? Uh oh, okay. do, do you I, say I, do you see yourself? with some freedoms. Now I asked you, what is it out there in the world that, uh, you think you're not free to do that you would like to do that? I, I would like to, okay. Example. That's a different, no, I willingly traded that in for Cirque because when I was free, I went where I wanted, did what I wanted. That, that was just the way it was. But people seem to co connect doing what you want to do with something negative. Oh, you must've been smuggling heroin through the, you know, no, I was just doing what I wanted to do without the consent of a partner. So you've really been free. You've never been like subdued or um, held captive. Yeah, yeah. I've spent years detained. Years just, yeah, over the no, over the fifty nine. I've spent a few, probably three or four solid. You know, not each month into the next, but a total of where I didn't didn't owe anybody anything. I didn't need. Didn't need it, any interaction. I was just flopping around the world having a look at stuff. No no, no relationships that were bind, binding. No, uh, And oh. also, no no luggage. The littlest amount of crap I could be bothered to have to have. So you're a nihilist. A How nihilist do you mean? No, I nothing. mean, I... Well, I you're happy just... with nothing, or that's, that's your... Well, at, I at, freedom to, in my twenties, yeah, in my twenties, I was quite happy to just have a backpack with some clothes and a few, you know, trinkets, maybe a radio or something, just leave, go off to another state, maybe the other side of the country. And then for a period of time, I was living in L.A. with my parents, but I I had a girlfriend in New Jersey, so every two weeks that I'd get to the other place, I'd stay there two weeks, and then I'd hitchhike back to the other place. And stay two weeks and hitchhike back. I did that for a while. Yeah, I hitchhiked cross country first time when I was 14. Isn't that amazing? This is what I mean about anarchy. An anarchist hey, just wants to not be intruded upon because I don't think our nature is to be violent and aggressive and steal and all. That's not an anarchist. That's a, a murderer, a psycho, or a thief. See, don't lump anarchy into that. That's got nothing to do with it. And it really has nothing to do with politics. It's got to do with, well, I just don't want anybody ruling it. Like now, because I live with my wife in Denmark, I've got a ruler over me because of the marriage. But because of the marriage, that's okay. If it wasn't for Cirque, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. So you sound like you're free to me. Well, right, because I'm happy in my marriage, which is n anything but freedom. You you can't do what you nilly willy please when you're married. You've got responsibilities and expectations and such. So, being married and living now just as you are, mm -hmm. if there's something that you can't do that you'd want to do, what would it be? When well, give me an example. Oh, I would uh, have you. It came and went though. It would be the traveling, but I don't even want to do that anymore. So I don't miss anything from the past. I did everything I wanted to do, and now whatever happens is just a new thing that I'd never did so what before. Are, what What are you complaining about then? I, I didn't know I was, sir. Yeah, I, I mean, you're saying all this stuff's messed up, but where does it apply to you? That's what I'm now, trying to find. That's what I've said from the beginning is <laughs> if you look around the room you're in, it doesn't apply to you. But legally – Paper-wise, with the state, with the government, with the, uh, all the trading that you do, then it involves him. When you act within the society, 
at certain levels, you're still anonymous. Mm-hmm. But you go that step further into uh, interaction with the with the state itself, and then things change. And I don't care for the intrusion of state, man. They, everything they got to know, every damn thing. Why? Because they want their cut of the money. And that's all it's about. It ain't about nothing else. Kill them all, then, Grimner says. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Grim, <laughs> Mr. Isolationist. Well, you know, I'll tell you this. For all the negative crap he does write on there, I've never had him once tell me no when I needed a hand on the <laughs> computer because uh, – I use RLM it's like my home base, you know, my small little tiny electronic world. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I call him Big Papa. Yeah. He, you yeah, know, yeah. he's way too loving yeah. to be the cynic he tries to portray himself. Wow, um, I didn't say that. I just said he's a little I nicer get. than. Wow, well, you're just crazy, though. No, we're in a perfect world. In a perfect world, you would be absolutely correct, wouldn't you? In a perfect world, we would all be correct. Or is maybe some people don't want to be no, correct? No, no, no. That's no? that's completely ba- runs right back into itself. Yeah, can everybody be correct? Yeah. Everybody cannot be correct in a perfect no. world. Wow. Because some people would have uh, different ideas. Now, maybe in a perfect world, then everybody would have a perfect understanding, and then everybody uh, would be right. Hmm. Well, first break through the competition shit, and that if you can get over that hurdle took me a long time to do that but i see it yeah i looked at it and i went holy shit i'm fucking competitive about every fucking thing i got it toned down i didn't i'd been doing it for so many years didn't really know it it was like part of the character you know and then went wow i don't want to do that so i stopped doing it went hey cool but it did kind of kill my interest in games i don't like to play games anymore because competition you know i get burnt out on it well, and, see, but, this is this magic place, this perfect world, and you know what? No, there's what? not any. There's not any wardrobe that you can open up, and uh, C.S. Lewis could send you through. And uh, there's no Stargate, there's no spaceships, <laughs> no spaceships. Yeah, going. and R- Rob works. He says anarchy is what we are living. We have no government, and in a sense, he's correct. And in a sense, I disagree with it. Because what we do have is definitely not anarchy. It's uh, it's controlled opposition. These people are after money. They don't give a fuck about you, but they'll tell you anything that they've got to tell you so that they can take your money. <laughs> and and it's not even real. So it goes beyond just the, the act of getting your money is just the opening door to your soul. <laughs> <laughs> and they they tell you the damnedest stories to get you to go along with this shit too. Is Here Chloe goes, is is Chloe giving me um uh, something? Yeah. Kinda, what does that That's, mean? There it is, right there. The not this uh, I I did I titled this just for you, Chloe. The not safe for work radio show. <laughs> with he'll make he'll make a sailor blush, flash nasty and. A man That's, of few yeah, words. I've been called many verbose. Many times. Yeah, well, get off of my blog, mister. Hey, you know what I've been doing lately? Over on the realliberty.org. Ah, uh, ah, ah. Did I brag about this no, to you no. yet? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I'm going to open it up. Let me see if I can do this without fucking up the whole equipment here. Um, I went on a little writing um, bench, and I threw a few blogs out here onto the realliberty.org and <laughs> I I was inspired by the by the Supreme Court nomination and I, I wrote a little ditty for the voters and it's, I wanted to read it to them and it, it's available in print over on realliberty.org anyway you ready for this Vinny mm-hmm. it's only a few paragraphs so it won't take long congratulations to all you voters and voterettes out there in Happy Land, USA. You have done it again. The appointment of your newest slave master on the SCOTUS is the best. Of the best. Of the best. I really mean that. 
There wasn't a better choice to put in that seat. I really mean that. Now, the next one. Allowing nine relics in a mental state of decay to, to dictate the law of the land is not only ridiculous to me, but I lack to see the freedoms either protected or rescinded by this group of society's greatest thinking minds. <laughs> I had a blast writing this. <laughs> I sense there are those of you <laughs> who have a different opinion than I have. Alas, you are forlorn. As you watch a fellow sheep, ignore this state-sanctioned nonsense and walk away. I do think there are two sides to the coin, but it's still a coin. <laughs> so if SCOTUS has taught me anything in my lifetime, it is. SCOTUS is, is no less a scam than the thieves of government it represents. And then in parentheses I wrote, see Grammy Mary for definitions. Okay. Two more things. You could always put your shit-kicking boots on and see what Cowboy Tech has to say, or Rob Works, or Grimner, or and then I just let it go at that. And then the last comment is, the point is simply the divide and conquer starts at home and it works better than any of the planners had expected it. So again, congratulations. And remember, the police have no duty to protect the individual citizen. There are plenty of links about it, but give thanks to SCOTUS. It was their ruling that made it possible. And I just got such a kick out of writing that. I wanted to read it. <laughs> yeah, I just popped on over here to realliberty.org. Right. Yeah, and it, and. I'm going over to find you. Hey, but uh, you've been I, think, I wish you could click that. Yeah, but you've been busy over there yourself. I, I saw, um, man, you had a lengthy in information this morning or yes. You know what? I, uh, I've submitted a, a couple of blurbs for a publication, and Ooh. I thought I, I thought I had got a rejection because uh -huh. uh, I, I seen the little pop up notification and uh, it had a notification before that I missed, and it so the second one I saw was all I saw and thought that's all there was. It's just uh. Uh, sorry, Vince. And I go, yeah, you know, because I, I, I'm not a writer, first of all. But uh, uh, And this is a friend of mine, Sherry Duvalli from uh, Readout News. She's uh, I met her in Vegas. Uh, she's a, a self-taught writer and, and pretty incredible. And uh, I learned very, uh, very la uh, I really count her as one of the people as uh, kind of one of my beacons there that I watch and is for uh, measurement against myself. And very impressed by, by her. And um, uh, learned a great lesson from her as far as uh, make sure that uh, you're very clear and uh, uh, be precise and, and you know amb no ambiguity on that. I was trying to get to you over here. And I was trying to shortcut, but it didn't work. Right, and the, uh, it runs a little slower too, so you got to let it uh, give it yeah. a little. It's got a little lag behind. Yeah, well, there's a few so, a few uh, glitches in the program, and I think still. Um. No, it's not too bad. Uh, but any, anyways, yeah, I've, uh, I, I wrote uh, in not being a writer. Uh, but So then she came back to me. What it was she wanted to know if that was my video? And I, I think it was the one for uh, uh, Wayne Hay, uh, Hage. Um, that, that really started way back when they started doing this. Uh, you know, we're talking about how the oppression and the occupation is and this war out west. And uh, gathering the people off and the cattle off the land and, you know, get, just making claim by this government, you know, that's supposed to be there not as an entity unto itself, but uh, uh, only as uh, a gathering to make sure that there's people there that say, yeah, we're not letting people get harmed in their rights and uh, what they have and, you know, their life and their property. But uh, we've gone completely, completely a away from that. Um, and, and then another one about uh, from a little short film I did a video up in uh, in uh, at the Clark County Fair earlier in the year with Ryan Bundy and, and uh, for his run for for governor but I'll gather them up too and uh, I'll drop those links over well they're actually I have them over here on the uh, I think on a RLO and here it is uh, let's see I'm, I got you here um, what's the name of the blog it has to be true or that's the first one uh, at the yeah, I think it's the first. I only wrote like three or four. Wait, I think I wrote four. Uh, yeah, this is only a test. 
I try to give them catchy little names that have nothing to do with what they're about, except don't drink the water. That was about not drinking water or drinking water. One of the you other. say you have been an outcast from society. Is oh, that yeah. That's not it. Yeah. It's, no, it's, that's, that's not the one you're reading. No, no that has. What was the title? This is Tell only a test. It. This, this is, is only, only a test. A test. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's still not. I don't see it yet. I'm, uh, I'm scrolling. Scrolling. Scrolling, Looking. scrolling, scrolling. Well, it's got a button. It's his latest blogs. Just hit that, and it'll open up a window with whatever the latest blogs are. And the first, first one is that. the one I was said. It's on the bar. It's got a little arrow. Just click the arrow. At the end oh, of the there it is. Bar. I see. Yeah. I see. And it I lists do. them in order. And hell, I wrote one. There's like 55 members, and I got 58 views. <laughs> I went. How the hell did that work out? <laughs> okay. I was bragging, Vinny, because my little writing things are, they get a little attention. So it's nice to be recognized. Yeah, well. Well, you know, uh, I don't think too many people agree with what I say. I just like to know that they, they're checking it out. Whether they agree with it or not, it's their problem. Their business, you know. It's like, wow. It doesn't affect you what I think. You know, just if, what affects you is what you think. I like how you got these... Uh... Uh, bold letters. Is oh, that yeah. a, uh... It's all in the, uh, when you open up the text box, you open up my blogs under write a new entry. It says my blogs. You open that, it gives you a window. And like the old uh, typing programs, it gives you a little box and you choose uh, like to have your letters bolded. You know, It gives you a choice to where to put the paragraph. You can center it, put it on mm. left margin, right margin, crap like that. Mm. So I was playing with that and got a little, got a little happy with it. Do you, uh, do you have a code in there or anything? Or I don't know. <laughs> kind of a second mean. look. A code. Yeah, like the, the, yeah, I like the purpose of bold. And I like con is, uh, and congratulations is obviously. No, I yeah, just but, was, so yeah. what I mean, I just write things the way I feel about write them and a word catches my attention. I feel like bolding it because it makes a stand con congratulations. So, oh. You know, then I make up a word, voterettes. There's no such thing. Let me go. I'm over here on the YouTube, uh, Real Liberty Media, um, where but we have fun. I'm having trouble with my editing. I, I forget to edit it before I, I publish it. I just got to start doing it before I publish it, find the errors first. <laughs> like you, I'm not, I don't claim to be a writer. I'm just putting out some ideas I have and trying to put them in a funny way on paper, make people giggle. And some people don't like it. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm very not for the government. And they go, Well what would you replace it with? And I go, I wouldn't. I don't I'm not for the government. Period. I don't give a shit what government it is, where it's at, how many people are in it. No. Leave me alone. Cause all government is is controlling your brain, man. And they control what you do through controlling your brain, man. <laughs> and it works. And it's so sad to see how easily manipulated my easily. My, my fellows. Yeah, you're welcome. Easy. But it, it, it bothers. It can bother me. You know, that's that's probably why I look at not speaking Danish as such a uh, blessing. And My time's few, out. Oh, crap. Sorry. Uh-oh. What happened? I, I was posted in the wrong I was bragging about not being able to speak Danish. And well, all the, all the I, would trouble. Not, I, I would be not proud of that if I lived in the, the land of the Danes. It's not a perfect world. And yeah, besides, you look at it differently than I do, too. Because I live with them, and I know uh, from living amongst these people, I know how they react to certain certain ideas. You know, what hits their um, pride button, you may not know. <clears throat> There's I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not the first it. American they've ever met. I mean, they've been serving Americans their whole life, so they've had a, a you know tourists over the years, you know, or other guys like me that married a Dane and decided to stay up here in the north. Yeah, you know, well, I mean, in the north where we're at on this part of the of Denmark. So, you know, it's not like I'm novel and unique to that extent. It's it's just unique that there's not a lot of Americans living here today, but they've been and gone, I suppose, over the years. 
Yeah. Okay. For our, our YouTube channel in the description there, this is a, a part of what I put up there. Um, so I put it there in the chat and read it and read the, uh, um, the words, read it all. Then read the words that are capitalized and uh, see if that, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Just, Oh, just the ones. Okay. And yeah. On my, on my blog. Well, all right. No, on mine. That on I just yours. Uh, okay. Wait yeah. A because you already closer. said you didn't have any, uh, no, 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 I, I, was I have, much. you didn't have no hidden, uh, or no, no, like no. second message involved. So I, you did. I, let me, let me start here. I'll just read it. And then you go back I'm and uh, right I, now. I'll hold on. Oh, no, it's on no. chat. Oh, well I got it on uh, RLO. <clears throat> The you don't have to start RLO. Swear, no? Oh, I got a message from... I thought that's what you were talking about. All right, let me go back to the RLO. Never mind. <laughs> okay. No, we already, I talked about yours. Your, your capitalizations didn't yeah, mean nothing. But what so. you just posted... So listen. Is that are you in chat? Are you in yeah, chat? Yeah, I see. All right. I see you. But listen. Something. All right. Listen. I'll read it, and then I'm going to ask you to read the words that are capitalized. Well, we'll right, just, but I don't have a copy do of it. So it's I need on, to open the it's link. It's on the screen. Right? It's on the screen right here in chat. Are you in chat? Yeah, I'm on chat, but I don't. You can't see that. As man is haunted by the oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. of I eternity, see. we ask ourselves, will our actions echo across the centuries? Will strangers hear our names long after we're gone? Wonder who we were, how bravely we fought, and how fiercely we loved. Ooh, all that Wilbur Orville Wright brother stuff, huh? You know... Uh, that don't fly. That's uh, in the overall scheme of uh, man that uh, they ponder their existence. And uh, that that uh, sentiment, I think, echoes well the majority of what the underlying part of what is inside of man, what is man. Now, now read it again. They're just the capitalized words. Okay. As man. It yeah, Hannah means. says hi. Yeah. Hi, Hannah. As as man, eternity will actions hear who, how. That's so it. it's what's in there. You're you're pulling the trivium out actually for the actual, you know, for true understanding. You know, you you follow a a, yeah, a process instead of ripped up into an end. So there's. There's that right there. That is the the quandary, quandary will, right? Will you ever really re- looking? But will what? you ever realize that you see this in a level of reality that's very unique from your immediate peers? I'm sure not just thing. talking that's from myself point either. Of it. Yeah. Okay. Because not everybody is as for one interested for me. That's mine. Or two equipped to uh, follow that to a a conclusion it's a lot of work and it meant for anybody to understand anyways i did it just to to be well, there and just somebody how, uh, yeah how i mean it what? not what? like you're what? sending what? a message it's this you have that ability that you're trying to bring out other people and it's for some of us we don't have it as nowhere near where you have it yeah for, uh, for the figuring Vincent. out to yeah the <laughs> dissecting shit till it's so small you don't know what it, you're looking at anymore. <laughs> but that's the kind of mind you have. So I, uh, I enjoy no, it. I don't, I don't chop it up that fine. Well, to me, you do. See, my – Vinny, this that's is how because I – because you, you have this secret uh, fantasy world that we're talking about here, the difference between where we actually are and what we have and the, this that we'd all like to be in, this perfect world, but we can't get there. We, we can't go through the uh, wardrobe, as I'm saying. Yeah, and uh, I don't. If we ever it, hope to get there. We have to yeah. uh, work through to come to that point. We have to go from here to there. You know, actually take the uh, physical steps to get there. And, and uh, you know, this whole thing that I'm contrasting right here is, is this. Uh, uh, you know, just do nothing and uh, just talk about uh, shit just messed up. And you know, then I get called the status. Why? Oh, you know, because that's, because I, I don't. I don't support the Trump. That. The, political system or none of that crap either but two people one's gonna win cindy lake uh yeah. for you know a council uh, spot there uh, yeah, yeah. in local, vegas or henderson yeah yeah okay. and ryan bundy running for governor which a lot of what he has to to say um i can certainly find a, a 
good amount of contention. Uh, but nonetheless, I, I support him because uh, at least uh, – and I really wish he had, had had better words in some of the interviews I've been listening to him in. But uh, uh, to, to at least scripted. bring this idea – hold on, let me finish. To yeah. bring this idea that, that you guys – uh, uh, you know, expressing is this uh, this fantasy place that you think you can live in that you can't until we get there. But he's talking about it and he's bringing these ideas out about, you know, man as being a sovereign and, and not being ruled by government. And he's called a, a, a whack, you know. So what I'm trying to do is, is at least uh, bridge ideas here and, uh, uh, you well, know, it's to, because to you support can't... somebody. Huh? You you can't be sovereign and a citizen at the same time. So they're, they're yeah, already talking no garbage. Right. Well, <laughs> but oh. you are a citizen, whether you like it or not. They right. have control that, of you. Yes. And they will kill you or kidnap yeah. you. And yeah. to deny to deny their authority, you might not believe in it, but that doesn't stop them from killing you. Absolutely. And this is the problem. You know, just whining and complaining about things, and uh, and then to the other extreme where you go out and you're actually doing things and then you're doing it wrong. And what happens? I, I've seen the evidence you're, you're locked away or you're killed. Uh, you know, you need to get smart or smarter. If, you know, if you want to do something that's really going to lead to a change and just not, uh, knock somebody else, but, uh, try to find where we we are all right together and right is obvious and opinions stink. So, um, Okay. It's not well, a, not a dreamland. It's not a fantasy, you know. No, you but you know, life is a uh, life is more interesting with a partner. For me, maybe not for you, but for me, I, I had fun when I was single. But comfort and all that that comes from being settled down with a female. Because even to this day, if Sir <laughs> goes to work or what have you, uh, I won't go out of my way to to get make myself anything fancy to eat or you know i just do the simplest damn thing i can do to eat something and but if cirque's here i pause myself again but uh she she doesn't have a problem with making something to eat <laughs> you know so why waste my energy and skills on something that somebody else does better anyway <laughs> right Everybody can only do what they can do. Not everybody has the same abilities. Or interest. You know, I don't know why. I've just never been real big on food. You know, food, 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 food. Nah. I got other things to do. I guess that didn't go anywhere with you. But I've seen you right on on the RLM just the other morning. You was bragging about a big old plate of happy steak, Mr. Vincenzo. Oh man, yeah, that's right. And, uh, you were I going had, uh, off Facebook all oh, over right. me. It was good, man, dude. It was good, and I and got roast too. It's a good. I'm state. still wiping the Facebook you drooled all over me off. Where God, stop do it. you think that food comes from, Mister? <laughs> the grocery There's store. No, yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> the grocery store. That's too funny. Nobody could mm-hmm. be that. Come on, that's got to be a joke. That can't be real. Uh, absolutely, don't Rob. Know that. Wait, what? Do Stop something. feeding the beast. We're, we eat the beast. Yeah, don't feed it. Yeah. Stay out of the. Yeah, don't feed it and don't let it run you over where you can. Right? right or just let it, let it go. But, but see, when people that... come, when people come along with these what? different ideas that they do, what I was talking about earlier, they go in there and they create and and fabricate and uh, facilitate. And make a crime, and they put these uh, people away in prison, federal prison, for yeah. uh, so many decades they'll never get out. Yeah. Uh, or yeah. they end up killing them. What's the point of all that? Anyway, hey, you know what I did today? What? Guess. <laughs> Picked your okay. nose. Ah, oh, well, partly. It's like, but yeah. part of that was only the morning. Uh, yeah. But I went, so I had. My wife asked me, out of absolutely nowhere, she says to me, would you get me some yarn? I went, sure. <laughs> so she sends me on one of my, you know, search and destroy missions to go buy her something she wants. And I, I used a little bit of that time to go have a couple beers at the pub, a uh, bar. Fuck, I still call it a pub after all these years. Anyway, uh, I didn't feel like talking to anybody or 
I didn't feel like looking at anyone. I just wanted to have a couple beers and sit down and just, ah. Uh. So I did. And not one, you know, people said hello to me today. And they were cordial, but they knew by the way I was, I wasn't um, socializing. I just came in for a couple beers. <laughs> it was cool as fuck. You feel free when you was doing it? Oh, yeah, because... You know, I could have gone and sat at the bar where the people I know were sitting and, you know, joined into the little bit of conversation. But I didn't really feel like I wanted to sit and think about tonight doing the show, what my ta- uh, I want to chat about. Shit like that. Just maybe just sit there and stare off and no, do nothing for a bit. Just vegetate. Well, let me, yeah, let me ask you what then. The, oh, I didn't lose you. Um, are you there? Yeah. Oh, there's some noise. I didn't hear you making noise. Uh, what is the uh, what is it uh, that you expect out of doing radio? What is uh, what do you hope to to gain or uh, goal or purpose? Um, oh, I just uh, I like to think I give a giggle every now and again. People can get a laugh out of the shit because it's all horrible. You know, everything's bad for us. There's nothing ever good to talk about, and when there is, people think you're bragging. So. Um, we've got to really, this is the farthest from a perfect world as possible. And I don't know, just make light of it. Instead of whining and complaining about Kavanaugh, cause he's just a relic in a black robe, dancing around a skull, making decisions to fuck you over. And if you don't know that, then that means that you believe that that system has got your back. And there's nothing I say that's going to ever change that. You got it. That system's got to let you down by itself. And when it does, if you want to wait that long, it takes a while to recover from the shit the state can do to you. Yeah, sometimes uh, you never do. I'd rather... You'll never get the opportunity. Yeah, I'd rather confront you in the street barefisted as big as you are than go against the police. You would be my first choice if I had to fight something. It would not be the cops. Fuck them. They will kill you. So you either comply like a little pussy and you go sit in their boxes or you fight them and they shoot you. And what cho- what what's the choice? Right? So you know what I found out? What you found out? I found out that there are governments of other countries that are less... Um, What's the right word? On paper, they're less free than America is. Because America's freedom is all based on paper now. Everywhere you go, they're checking for something. Or they're forcing you to do something, so that's not free. And, you know, If you consent to it, well, then where's the freedom part come in? You consented to something. I don't, I don't see where freedom comes in, you know. It's like if Cir- Circle asked me, what do I want for dinner? You know, well... If it didn't matter if I was incidental, why would she ask? That would be how the government treats us. <laughs> government doesn't give a shit what we want. Well, in, in a perfect wants, world, we okay. you know we wouldn't have to worry about all that, right? Uh, in a perfect world, no, we would be have a better thinking system brought out of us at an early age, so that we didn't learn all this destructive shit that fucks us all up. So that so, system that uh, that you proposed then. It, it could never be not. It could never be existent. What you have to do is start individually, and uh, how people then would raise their children, and teach them to think them, themselves. Right, and the the state and the the federal government got their fingers in the education system in about 1980, right? And they just stripped, you know, they stripped the the parental rights away from state to state as they went. So now that it's just out in the open that the state owns you. <laughs> For school, you got to go to school. You don't go to school. Your parents go to jail. <laughs> Come on. What what do you need to know? You call that freedom? Well, pay for a, a private school. Wait a minute. That's not a choice. That's blackmail. Some of the issues Ryan Bunny talking about um, in some of the interviews. Yeah, also about I, making I, those those funds available that to, to the individual and then let them decide, right? Yeah, see, Make it a fun, true, true free fine. market. Right. Uh, right. But
but you can't because this kind of shit that we've ended up with, all it does is breed corrupt assholes. Doesn't matter if one out of a hundred out of you is the one, it's that that guy exists at all. And we've not been taught that we breed this out of our offspring on purpose. It's done by design. And if you look at everything and how it's unfolded, you can see it. It's like a map. It's clear. And we are not designed to live this way. That's why we don't get along with each other so badly. Because societies give us reasons to fight that we would not have if we didn't have all these fucking societies giving us all this grief with laws and problems and races and that fucking religion and this fucking religion and, you know, your mama's a goat lover and what the fuck? Where did all this come from? Wow, indeed. Here's a, here's a, I was talking about earlier. I'll go bring these links together. Uh, YouTube, I didn't press uh, those words. It's just in the, uh, in the description there for Ryan Bundy and then the oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there you other go. one on, on Wayne. That one right there, I kind of like, uh, well, I like both of them. One's shorter than the other, but I, I you know, not being a writer, like I said, uh, it probably a lot of mistakes in there, but those two I submitted in, uh, I don't know if they'll get published or not. I'd like to get published in uh, uh, at Readout News once. Uh, where where is that? Oh, uh, you can find it Readout News on uh, just a uh, internet search and. You, oh. You gotta, okay. Well, I yeah, don't read narrow. the news ever. I don't want well, to read the news. Well, this is uh, the news. This is uh, Sherry Duvalli who I was talking about. Uh, mm-hmm. This is her her you know her work she does and she's uh, covers. A lot of this war in the West, uh, pretty extensively. She's a you know political person, which I'm not, but they are having a, a strong movement with people that are uh, you know more liberty minded up in the Northwest, which is, uh, is that's something. That's people that are you know coming together and saying that this is wrong, and they're working to uh, to change that political system. And you know a lot of people will say you can't change it from the inside, but uh, then why maybe not? You can over. Maybe you can overwhelm it and smother it to death. No, why don't you uh, just abolish the Fed and just give the power, what little bit of power there should be who's, at all. Who's, ba- who's going to do that? You say, why don't I? I, I well, can't do people. that. Okay. Who's when the you, people? How are they going to abolish it? That's what I mean. It? This thing is a what? fucking scam. Oh, wait. There is yeah, no it's, fucking governments. And it's, it's, uh, it's rigged. It's your we all know that. Yeah. It is yeah. rigged. Yeah. And when you try to buck it, then... Uh, then Goodbye, Charlie. Mm-hmm. You, well, you're, you're either ignored, ridiculed, or imprisoned. One of the three. Yeah, yeah that's so, it. That, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, look at what these fuckers got. They did to Bill Cosby. You know, think about it. Isn't it funny that they did all this shit after he tried to buy NBC? All of a sudden, he's got old, year old fucking sexual rape cases. What the fuck? How... How can you actually prove a thing like that? That's kind of fantasy land to me. You know, what happened 30 years ago? Give me a break. Well, it seems like if a crime happens and it needs to be, uh, you know, brought charges when it happens. Okay, and that's what I'm harping on when I bitch at you about status is these fucking laws. They've gone too far with these fucking laws. They should have kept it to like five, five fucking laws. And that's it. Everything else, you deal with it amongst yourself. But what, if you five break laws? these, like killing somebody or stealing their shit, raping them, killing them, then raping them, raping them, killing them, and then stealing their shit, all that should be illegal. <laughs> what if you? Any what combination if, of those three things is really not good to do. I don't right, recommend let me, it. Let, let me ask you a scenario here. Let's yeah. say. Uh, Let's yeah. say you had you a, a house and in a yard, and you built you a six foot. Now let's make an eight foot tall privacy fence around it, and because uh, you had a super hot wife and you was really jealous and you didn't want nobody looking at her and she liked to sunbathe naked, oh, and yeah. so her. anyway, so she'd lay out there naked all the time, and then people got to where they was propping ladders up against the fence to come up <laughs> and look over. I mean, is is that uh, uh, what? Well, would that be, or should it be against the law, or is it wrong or right, or do these people got the right to do that, or has he the got right the right to, to poke him that. in the eye? If, 
Yeah. See, yeah, there. See, that's all that that social bullshit, right or wrong. I think you should be able to deal with your neighbor one on one. Well, Maybe what if he? Well, listen, what if what if he's uh yeah got his uh. uh oh, you've already heard. Knuckles you've and... already heard how I want to deal with my fucking problems in life. A duel, think, yeah, a duel. duel. <laughs> if it's that serious that you can't, you know, sit down and discuss it and figure out an answer, shoot each other. Fuck it. And stop all right. the fucking whining. Uh, and you know what? All right, let me break it down just a little bit then. All right, we know what you say about doing. All right, let's just say now there's these two neighbors side by side in their driveway. I mean, just, you know, butt right up there. And uh, uh, they ain't got along. And let's say the one guy, he just likes to mess with him. He spits his sunflower seeds over there in the shells over across on his, uh, what do you do there? Hey, should you take it to uh, pistols at dawn? If that's the if that's how far these two fuckers are willing to go, yeah. What it's about in the my, middle? What, this, what about the, what I mean. the Look, seeds to hitting each other in the mouth or maybe, you know. It should be between the two people that got the dispute, not outside forces. So whoever it's like, prevails it's, no, no, is no, no, the no, winner and makes them right? I would suppose survival no. of the fittest. No. You know, whoever, right whoever is wants right. to oh, give wrong. in. I don't know. Well, you give me examples that I would never do. I'd never do the things They're, that you come seem, up with in the first place, you weirdo. Well, you have to respond to the exampling because... Yeah, but they're weird things I would never think of. They're like, I've got to try to figure out simple. what exactly that it's means. Not even, it's not even that Spitting complicated. Very on, simple concept. Wait, but you're yeah. talking about standing in a driveway. First thing I don't do. Talking to somebody in Denmark. No, that strike two. And I'm spitting seeds out while I'm doing it. What? Where you're trying to make like you're the only person. What well, are you I doing in the perfect the world? Well, you've got to That's represent it. everybody else and <laughs> how they would have to respond because you say dueling. So, I mean, do you duel for everything? Did you what ever happens hear in the middle? Because that's what it, do you ever listen? I said, Sometimes. if you can't sit down and discuss whatever the fucking problem with somebody else is, that's your first course. <clears throat> you've been slapped. Okay. This is your infraction. And you sit down. If you can't come to terms and you're both fucking mad at each other, the next step is you shoot each other. I think it would stop the first part from happening a lot more often than it wouldn't. No, it would we're, It would make a rain of bullies. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yes, it I would. Live, I'm telling you, man. I live in a place where there's no it's, police. Yeah. Wait, like, called there's fantasy no, land. No, it's not. It's called the outside of my house. There's no uh, strong police activity in this neighborhood or in the area where I live. And the people are the nicest fucking people. So, they only take one. Well, yeah, but, you know, it's not the way they do things here. That It's a different culture. I can't explain it to you. I've tried, Vinny, but... Because I'm American and I'm more aggressive. These people are just lay back and they want to have a nice day. <laughs> they work hard for a short period of time and then they play, you know. You know, a 40-hour work week here would be a torturing somebody. Hold on, I'll be back. I'm gonna... Hold on. Ugh, I was bragging about the wife's employment situation. And uh, I think the Danes treat uh, their employees very well. They get union contract wages so they don't have to be like in America. They they used to have, I don't know how it works now, but the, the restaurant chains, fast food places where they make tips, fast places where whatever they do, where they make tips, they pay the damn um, service people the worst amount of money there is to pay them, the lowest amount of money. And because they make tips, and then the government of, I don't know, 20 years ago figured out they wanted to tax those, too. <laughs> they taxed their poor tips. So, And then they do it on a, a schedule to assume that they're, they're going to make so much of a percentage off their uh, tips or, or, or their checks, blah, 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 blah. What's what I, I mean, this government doesn't, it doesn't, to me have the right to, to do what it does to us. But there's voters out there that think this is just, you know, hey, Vinny, 
They just yeah. think this is just the second best thing since, you know, birth. But my perspective, I don't think they give this a complete look. They're looking at it from a victim standpoint. And uh, if they looked at it from, why do you want to put your nose up my ass and tell me what I should smoke and tell me why? I'd like to know why what I smoke or don't smoke has to do with you. I don't even live in the same, you know, when I lived in the, in the States, I didn't live in the same city as everybody else. <laughs> There's lots of places to be. So, you know, over the years, uh, whatever we had as freedoms, as disgusting as they may be, that's what freedom is. You know, freedom doesn't wear a white suit. <laughs> what are you, nuts? If freedom you wanna, in French. Yeah, if you want to walk through the, if you want to walk through the fucking, uh, the, the pond thing they got at the park do it you know that's how copenhagen was people let their children play in the freaking fountains and it was cool because everybody was cool with it nobody give a fuck we're not Isn't that drinking what fountains it. are for yeah i mean what's no, the deal? Wait, 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 okay i'm from another place pal where if you don't there's a sign that says you can't do every fucking thing Keep off have the good, grass. Have a good time. <laughs> yeah. Then at the bottom it says, you know, all your fines are payable too. <laughs> Never mind. You know, oh. a fine is, what does they call that? Uh, a fine is a punishment for doing something right. Probably so. Well, when you think about it, think it through. A license is a that's what a license is is a, a piece of paper you're bu you're buying so you can break an existing law by having that piece of paper you're yeah, not doing yeah. anything right you're paying a fee to break the law that would put somebody else in jail <laughs> what the fuck that's extortion man that's what it is Whoa. that's how it works it's if part of try, how the whole yeah. system works yeah if you don't believe me if you work in a retail outlet Why don't you stop people before they leave the building and tell them that you want $100 or they can't leave? The cops can do that. <laughs> cops have done that. No, they got my favorite asset, because I like saying ass, but asset forfeiture. <laughs> they, charge oh. the, they charge the shit with the crime and confiscate it from you. <laughs> they, you gotta THC fight bomb. I'm not done. Then well, you it's 420. Fly. You got to get interrupted. Oh, it is 420 somewhere. There you go. Yeah, Now, go yeah, ahead. Yeah. But then you you got to pay. You got to pay. Fight them for five years in court to get your shit back. So you not only did you lose your shit for five years, but the lawyer's fees and <laughs> wow. And guess who wanted more of it? <laughs> take take a guess. <laughs> Come on, Vinny. You're in America. Tell me. I, I, I want to tell you, a lot it? of people see it that you, uh, you know, you, you sometimes you take a little for uh, something else, and that's become the no, new normal. Now it's accepted. How do you mean? Wait a minute. This, Chloe I was got, talking about asset affair. forfeiture. What are you yeah, talking uh, about? Get on the same at. page I'm on. That's where you're at. Where I'm at. No, not here. Well, it I've exists. Not, 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 how, how do you change it? How do I don't? I asked you if you, you got, knew was for it. Who's wants more of yeah, it? Yeah, not me. Who does? You're not answering me. I was answering it by Trump. saying people accept it. Trump, Donald Trump yeah, was this. promoting it. Oh. Do people understand what this is and what they do? Hannibal. Oh, take over a minute. All right. Don't hey, I'm up in this. Up, uh, I, anyway, Chloe got me with an but, affair. Yeah. Oh, Christ. You're reading the chat. But do people think about the. So are you the talking overall, to your dog? Me? No, I was talking to you. That's Cirque talking to the dog. Don't the dog ignore was the saying chat. saying hi to somebody. Uh, no, talk on the chat. I don't Beckham care. Came. It's your show. It's, It's not opening. a perfect world. You know, Vinny? It's not a perfect world. Yes. It really no, is. It's not. No, it is. Mine is. In a perfect world. No, in a perfect world oh, for everybody. What's happening with my internet? I don't know. Did I, I'm not blanking on you here, am I? I'll call you back if you uh, get pumped. Don't worry. No, no, me. no. It paused. Uh, it paused. We Poor internet connection, it said. We, we got to do a, a fun, uh, one of those fund me things, 
and get you enough well, money it's to raining. buy a new computer. How much is a computer? You can probably get a nice computer at a pawn shop for 100 bucks. Unless they've changed all that, too, and you can't do that anymore. $10,000 is my guess. I don't 10, do it. Go fund. 1000 for a computer? What? Well, I just gonna if Who I'm gonna do a GoFundMe, to? I want a really if oh, I'm gonna do a, okay. a GoFundMe, I want a really good computer. No, I don't then, do GoFundMe. Then, well, do it, but do it for your grandma's heart surgery. Maybe you get twenty grand. What happened uh, to your voice? It changed. I said, do it to. You. I don't know. I do voices. What do you want? Seventy-six percent open. Are you doing a voice right now? I don't know. I wasn't planning to, but I could. Anyway. You keep reading the chat, and I keep forgetting what the hell I was talking to you about because you're not talking to me about nothing. We're not in a perfect world, Vincent. Uh, help me. Your voice is sounding very strange. I don't know. Maybe my headphones are dying. I should get a new set. My voice sounds strange. Hey, you know who we haven't said hi to in a long time that, that doesn't always come to the chat, but she listens yeah. to the show? Mary B. Down under the water. Yeah. Miss B. B. Huh? Miss How you doing? B. Hi, Miss B. See, I, I don't knew know that why question. She... Something yeah. that really is relevant, you know, and hmm. not any loose. You'd be close to Yeah. I know something life. like that. Life is irrelevant. It doesn't Mary's matter. a real person. You know who life matters to? Who? The person that's living the life. Everybody else is too busy with their own. They don't give a shit about yours. They say they do, but they That's don't. That's not always just, true. Come not on, always true. Uh, please. Are you with telling me such a cynic. that you have the wherewithal about you to function in the society that you're in? And while you're doing that, even go beyond and be concerned about everybody else. Uh, fuck, when I'm out there, I'm trying to maneuver the machine so I don't walk into walls and trip over people and shit i'm my brain's busy i don't have time for you i'm doing my thing i'm i'm impressed that you can do that though sir you must be i have a quite the man sir i quite think the of man. uh there's a lot a lot of people i i think of uh regularly that uh you know in concern and um wonder uh, how you know that their life is well and um lot i you know Lots you mean friends. physically you look like at them and you think I like that? People. Or are you talking about in your memory that you see that? No, people that I know, sure, yeah. Wow. You know, to, no, to not think a, of somebody, yeah. I'm usually in such a good mood when I do the most mundane shit, going to take the dog to the uh, train to go catch Cirque or uh, go to the grocery store that I'm in a good mood doing it, so I never have a bad time. I don't know. I've ha I haven't had a bad day in years. Years and years. Can't count it. Probably since sound like the Scotland days. You kind of sound like you're having a bad night tonight. Why is that? Are you wishing oh, me just, bad luck, sir? On no, you just been no. you know, you just been acting all pissy. Oh, have I? I'm sorry. Yeah. Did I in, did I make you sad? Oh no, 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 no. I I just letting you know. You just just you know. I've got my so mind. Yeah, I li I'm telling you, I listen. Yeah. yeah, I listened to this tape today, right? Or to the link, and it's a cop talking to an anarchist. And these two have a—they've got a history. They've spoken together before. It, they didn't just shoot, you know, start doing this live. They talked about it before they did it live. And I'm still on the anarchist side at the end of the conversation, and I'm pissed at the cop. And all the shit that's connected to it. Yeah, so I'm probably angry about that still. Because it doesn't have to be that way. But it has to be that way because people don't understand Your voice what, came it, back. what it doesn't have to be that way means. Okay, my... What? I didn't... Came back right. It was sounding really weird. Uh, that's probably because you're crazy. No. I did get all here there in the listening chat. You don't... How come you don't go to chat? How, that's where I got to chat box open when we're talking on the radio i'm in that's the chat the you're in there i see it says Why well you... that didn't work out too well so you don't pay attention because Part the american it. physicist who sold nobel to pay for end of life care dies oh 
No, I would died. <laughs> That's what happens. So we, we croak. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to open the link to look at a name. It just says American Physicist. <laughs> Sputnik International is carrying this story, by the way, folks. <laughs> Sputnik. <laughs> what didn't work, Grimner? <laughs> I don't know. Open the link and read it. <laughs> I'm not a crazy that. man, you. I'm not opening that. I'm not opening it. I'm talking to you about nonsense, but hey, Vinny, are you an anarchist or a statist fella? I will state, making me a statist, uh, I am an anarchist. That, uh, probably not the anarchist in your definition but to the listening audience. Well, did you ever ask me what my definition is to judge me like that, you prick? I didn't say you. I was answering you. You did. You said you. To, to everybody, yeah, and then I clarified, <laughs> and I clarified, okay, you to so, everybody, right. the listening, yeah, you know, the listening audience. Okay, forgive so, me, you have that would attention. that would definitely not be you. <laughs> <laughs> At least I have. I try to. to play along sometimes, but geez, it's hard. It, it's hard to, uh, <laughs> like with Rob works, we get all get all um, racy with Rob. <clears throat> But yeah. Rob threw himself yeah. in the radio thing, so he, yeah, this ain't his first rodeo. <laughs> I don't know. The way we associate is just so uh, American. That's what I mean. I treat Americans as people in a different way than I treat other people. <laughs> and it shows in my radio and it shows in, in my daily life when I go to the interactions with others. You wouldn't know what I mean, probably, but I was trying to make well, sense. You might a, get it. No, I I work for a guy. Oh, he's my boss out in uh, Sacramento. He went to Berkeley, and mm. so we're uh, way out in the middle of uh, the bad part of town. Some people call it. And it's like, anyways, I had a conversation, and he says to me, uh, "Wow, you're a comedian." So yeah, I do. Kind oh of, yeah, you know, you're saying yeah, you, you sure. have to try to speak a language that somebody uh, understands or you have to uh, speak in a language that uh, you would wish to be understood. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, words are important. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because uh, the Danes that claim, you know, they don't speak the English, they, they understand it good enough because it's, it's in their TV, it's in their games, it's in their shit. Just like everything else. That's there. This there's is so like much. A, there's so much um, England, English in Denmark. Yeah, they wrap yeah. it out. Well, they're only a they're only a country or two away anyway. It's like 14 hours. You can drive there in 12 probably. So it's not like it's that far from here in the first place. So these countries known each other for a long time. You know. Know what I mean, Gene? Yeah, eh, it's eh, all eh, part eh, of the eh, empire interact. Yeah, sure. Throughout so, the centuries, right. So what I think it is, it's a, a social status thing, too, to speak more than one language. And then some of these people speak five, six, because they've been, you know, and they're through their life, they've visited the other countries. It's like us That's going to another state. Impressive. Well, no, to them it's normal. But it's, to me, it was the same as living in, like, say, Miami to um, uh, New Orleans to New York. You know, and then go to L.A. and everybody in each state talks different. Go to Kansas. They talk one way. And it's not like a, a completely different language, but some dialects can make you slow yeah, yeah. right down and ask them they what the are fuck did lot. you just yeah. say. Yeah. Sure. Well, okay. Well, that's the same thing here in, in beneath the, where we live, I would say, the European part of it. Because they're so close together, so they speak each other's languages. You know what? Every time I hear the word European, what comes the the uh, image in my mind? I always think of every time. Just like every time I hear "Let us pray," I always get the same picture. That's been a well, long time back. Yeah, but European. I remember it. I remember in school that that the school didn't go out of their way to separate Scandinavia from Europe and the UK. And I mean, they mentioned it a few, you know, and they mentioned it, and 
but it's not like imprinted. It's not brought out to, this is important. Remember this. It was like a side note. So I, I had very little knowledge of the UK when I went to it outside of what my mom told me. Did she tell you as a good boy? Oh, when I was. And then before she passed, she was did, back to did that. She, yeah. Did she, she tell you lovey dovey? Did she tell you never play with guns? No, are you kidding? My mom didn't. My mom knew better than that. And you can't tell me what to do. The fuck? If I want to play with a gun, I will. And if I don't, telling me not to is going to make me want to. And she's my mom, so she knows that. So, nah. That would have never happened. I thought you knew that about me. Tell me I, I can't did. do something, and I usually... That makes the, that starts the fire bug to make me want to try uh, it. Yeah. Well, when I was younger. Now I'm older. I, that's the, the whole point of getting together with Cirque, is I was done doing stupid shit and ready to take life a little bit more seriously and have a, a relationship in it. Well, I want to tell you something. So, but you need to like use caution, use your brain and think about this. Don't eat paint chips. Okay. On purpose or what on What if I did it on accident? Well, you wouldn't do it enough on accident that it would hurt you too bad. Okay. Then I, I won't do that. I promise. Right. What else? Any other really important things I should put on my, <laughs> Do not do list. That's all I can give you for now. Mm. That's so, a start. That's a start, right? Yeah. yeah. One thing at a time. Do you have That's a you belief work system? A do system? You, do you, yeah, a, a belief system. Or yeah. do you just have a belief? I believe. Yeah. Do you believe what you've been told to believe, the way you were told to believe it? Or do you believe in your own unique, singular, little Vinny the Poot kind of way? Not in Vinny the Poot. That's a that's just another uh, a stinky look at that. Okay, uh, well, right there. in your own uh, singular, unique, whatever name, fill in the I fucking think, blanks. I, I think I have a good yeah. understanding of what is, is. Uh, so oh, I wouldn't call yeah. it a system. I wouldn't call it a belief. I have a, a, a knowing. I, uh -huh. I, I might include... Uh, uh, faith into that knowing as well as part of it. Huh. You know, there's yeah. things that uh, that uh, you know are built into us, into our psyche, it, like a conscious and knowing. Most most people aren't broken their conscience or their you know that inner thing inside there tells you right from wrong. But uh, yeah, it's all you know piece and parcel. So you know, I do like going against the grain though whenever I can for fun or just no, or just crazy. because. Because I can't, you cannot prove to me certain things in life that everybody I fucking ever met, they all agree about it. And then here I come and they go, blah, 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 blah. And I think, I don't see what you see. No, I don't think so. But well, let me put it like this. What? Uh, if if you have a belief in who you are and, and how all that works, you, you, it has to be expressed in your actions, right? So that... Uh, that your actions actually prove the truth of your words your your belief if if you're uh you know proclaimed to uh be a certain something and then yeah. uh, then you have yeah. to proclaim you know, right. yeah you have to you know with put yourself within those boundaries uh, right so you know your faith uh your belief if you want to call it uh your um what you do what you're doing when what you're doing uh, that is an expression of it so that's well, the first in the pudding, and otherwise really, it's lies. Uh, yeah, but I don't really understand all that conscious attention that I'd need to pay to that. How would I ever do anything else? If it required all that attention, I'd never have time to, to have any fun. I'd be what? busy with my If you was worried belief. about what you was doing? Was that... Yeah, and accountable and you know balancing and checking. I just, so... I just live, Vinny. There, Let's say I, we can example that some teenagers in a, on a, a church outing and, you know, they're taught abstinence and then they um, got them fool around. Would that be like an example or uh, more or different? No, as far I wouldn't as beliefs and restrictions and within the parameters. Well, see, that's just man's dictating law bullshit. It doesn't well, have just, a foundation. It's just 
passing a judgment on younger people doesn't when you are the younger person you, all the younger people think the same fucking thing who the fuck are you to tell me what i can do or they're compliant and they're not looking to break the rules see it's the only two ways that can go now well, there's I'm, there's I'm good a, uh, there's okay, good and, lessons taught and and uh from religion you know and then you get I, some well, right. boss people to be uh you know almost just guilty and shameful so much that you know they they're always i mean could I you imagine i don't like, know I, no i can't i i've read enough about it and seen enough in movies and whatnot to have an opinion about it but i can't imagine being that will willingly like weak that life is I don't know. You got to live your your life through a third thing. What? What? Well, a, no. A, a right life, you know, one that you're not doing wrong that you can live. You know, if you, you can uh, form that through your existence, then that's where you're working towards, right? That, it, you don't want to do. Choice. You just want to be self fulfilling. I mean, gratifying that, yourself or you know. Uh, that choice was taken from us well before we were ever born by the system that we're here in. So, no. Uh-uh. I think that if if people would just agree to tell the fucking truth, period, stop all the fucking lying about everything, that the rest of the things that would follow would be for our benefit. So, the, the only thing that could fix us is the truth. Whatever the truth is about any given thing. And I'm not talking, honey, do these pants make my ass look big, honesty. I'm talking about, uh, yes, the water is poisoned. We're going to stop doing that immediately. Yes, we have the equipment to clean this up and blah, blah, blah. And they do. And if you know how to read, you can go online and find out there are things in nature that are plentiful and that they can grow and regrow repeatedly to fix this whole fucking mess right to nuclear. But we've got all these laws in the way that stop us from cleaning up the mess that we're living in. And it's so based do you tell, on greed. Do you tell people this, like that you meet or know in person, you tell Are people it? about this? and Oh, no. <laughs> How could I ever do that? Are you kidding me? That is the most unpopular stand there is to have in a society. Well, I mean, I've do a lot of talking. I'm a yeah, I'm the, in a unique. Well, but I'm in the a guy of so few words. <laughs> well, I'm in a unique place <laughs> under unique circumstances that just like tailored to tailored to my uh, comfort levels. You know, it fit. I didn't have to do anything. I just, I'm just here and no expectations from the, uh, ex around me. People the just don't, yeah, they just they want you to behave yourself in public and not scream and yell at, you know, walls. So you do that and you comply. Simple. That sounds well, kind of civil to me. I mean, that sound, sounds yeah, like sounds, something that's not an odd, uh, you know, requirement or, no, just be normal in public situations and we'll all get along. And it's like the common thread, no matter what. No matter how weird somebody's dressed in, in the town, they're, they're civilized to you as a person. That's the way, judge, that's the way it is in America, appearance. except for where they concentrate the uh, the downtrodden or the, the crazies, right? I mean, you can go downtown oh, to wine, uh, you know, where the winos are and you can see uh, all kinds of people screaming at walls. Well, but, you yeah, know, but, you're not going to yeah. see them screaming uh, uh, at somebody's driveway in a neighbor, nice neighborhood, especially. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Wherever there's poverty. Yeah. But see, it's all by design. And if, if I was to, I might probably get agreed with on that here because this is a what, national socialist or some shit like that. Whatever fucking crap they lean to, you know, it's it's more like rope than barbed wire. You know, it's more yeah, you seem to be happy in yeah. it. Oh yeah, I mean, my wife, she's comfortable where she's at. She doesn't. She kind of fears America. <laughs> this stuff, this poor woman's seen because life here isn't as uh, exciting as America. 
Well, that's the chameleon. Car, car I've had people ask me, you ain't scared to be be here. Well, I mean, there's places you should be feared of for certain, right? You? Yeah. Nah, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't draw that. No, you draw that in life, pal. That You bring that on yourself. That's the way that really works. Your truest of intentions bring you the fucking results you get. And if they didn't... Things well, happen then, sometimes. Yeah, mm, they happen. Well, yeah, but you put, that, you, you know, just somebody... You put, your, you put yourself where you go. No matter what the fucking results are, it's got... Still, you're the one that went there. So, so you should, other, you're saying shit and I went there. And it would have never no, happened. No, no. Well, that's the the pretty side of it. But no, there's no way to control that. That's yeah. that's the illusion. You think it's you like can plan. If a woman gets raped future? and they said hey, you shouldn't have had that short skirt on. Type oh, of Christ. No, 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 no. You bonehead. No. Common sense things. And you don't. You think you choose where you go in life. And I don't believe you do. I think you think you do. But these things just kind of happen. Hello. Grimner says uh, it's shit screaming in a, a driveway really does anything. <laughs> but maybe maybe he believes that he has to do that to uh, uh, keep elephants from uh, parking. Yeah, there. some mental yeah, some mental illusion. Well, this what we live every day is defined in in sciences as a, a an illusion. We're a bunch of light waves bouncing off each other. <laughs> But we have this consciousness that gives us a solid world. It's it when you break it down and you read a little bit about it and you get a little information. It's kind of weird because <laughs> whatever I believe it is, pal, is I don't care what you tell me. I'm living my life, so I figured this out when I was kind of young. Other people don't give a shit what you think. So, they care about what they care about what you do. They don't give a fuck what you think. Okay. Talking is doing something. You know, people go, well, don't just talk about it. Well, look, there's a lot of power to talk. Because <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Damn right, pal. Because all the things that you you don't say is the same thing as if you did say it. It's just the opposite well, let, of it. Let me say, uh, what I'm getting in is uh, you, you've got it figured out. and You pretty much have a an expectation of what is, is. And yeah, yeah. So that's kind of a belief, or uh, you have this idea, which is proof. a faith, a faith. Proof. No, no, no. I've got you don't have proof. proof. You don't, yes. you don't have don't proof. Don't tell what? me. See, there you go. You're telling me what I believe is no. proof. And I'm telling you, I've got physical with my own eyes. I look at it every day, and I see proof. All right. Well, let yeah, me ask yeah. you this. What? Do you know? Okay, we'll skip the obvious. You obviously don't know everything there is to know. Not no, half no, no, of no, what no, there is no, to no. know. Uh, no, so I, even I, you you, let me just ask: Do you know one one percent of what there is to know? No, probably not yeah. even that. Yeah. So you really have no idea then. Well, no, I have a lot of ideas. You have a, I know, you have I you have know a people faith, that know. Not a full idea. You have a faith uh, in what you believe. Oh yeah, when you break it all down, that's what I've been saying <laughs> to you for years. Come on, we are agreeing on this. What? How can be day and night with the same thing? Well, I'm just you, I don't for know things. things. If we, if we we just assume that you and I know already, then we're not having a, we're not contrasting anything here. Oh, either. okay. And I'm so, assuming uh, though that I've wait a minute, but I'm assuming you get all the time. It's your yeah. Don't get your Let feelings me, hurt. Yeah, yeah, no, my feelings are hurt. I'm, I'm trying I'm, to make a fucking point. Because you think I'm picking on you? I no, just, no, no, I don't think I'm you're picking, picking on you. No, I am picking on you. Yes, I am. That's not where I was going with it. Don't think I'm not. <laughs> you fucking God. you dork you anyway, are so then, dense sometimes i swear no i've been smoking the pipe all night so i just took whatever you were saying i just went the other way with it <laughs> and rob works you're, knows you're, that you're like, like you're like jack like chasing it trying to catch a damn jackass out in the middle of the pasture chasing around I all guess. around yeah with you Wor with words yeah with you yeah well, words are the problem. So I've been telling you for a long time. This is what complicates everything is words. Well, you have Deeds. to know how to deliver them. And, and talking about being a comedian, being able to, uh, you know, be in that situation, know how to deliver them. Not just words, because words 
uh, lead to deeds. Oh, right. it's, it's the first step. Well, yeah, but they're the first step toward a deed. No deed is done without words or in print. Same thing. You got to have instruction to do it or it would never get done. Yeah, somebody <laughs> can walk up behind you and cut your throat and then not say a word. You've been watching a lot of TV. Or no, do I don't have a TV. The... Well, all right. Well, where do you get a fucking idea like that? Uh, what 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 kind of sick sordid mind do you have where you think somebody's gonna walk up behind you and slit your throat? Man, I've been a lot wow. of places. Wow. Well, so I've I, been but... asked, uh, "You ain't afraid to be around here?" Yeah, yeah. Them kind of. I've places. lived. A, yeah, I, yeah. I've lived in a few places. So whoop whoop. You're yeah, and you're a big tall guy. So whoo. <laughs> five I'm ten so of, impressed. Five foot, five foot ten and a half is tall too. I'm, to me, that's yeah. yeah my brother's There's a little four, taller than that. Four eleven or something. No, I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to answer this. <laughs> but no, I, I'm small. Hey, very uh, small. Did my you, wife uh, says I'm perfect, so kiss my lily white Botox. <laughs> hey, you want to save some white people? We got ten minutes to go. What a uh hey uh, have you well I just gonna ask before we uh, move on to saving Whitey. Have you yeah. ever uh, yeah, what you ever think do? about getting a job with Santa Claus and playing an elf? Dude, no, I was four eleven, that's that's too is that too tough? I was I was thinking of being Santa Claus's brother. All right. Yeah. Brian Claus. <laughs> Brian Claus? <laughs> yeah, Santa's my brother. I'm Brian. <laughs> Brian. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, well, I got the beard going on, right, honey? I was thinking Hans Claus. <laughs> oh, come on. We were, we were We were not see free for a whole show, too, you weirdo. <laughs> it's your we fault. Bring up, why do you bring up my good Hansel? <laughs> Brian. Hansel has probably got the strudel. <laughs> How about Bolton Claus? There you go. Bolton? Bolton? John Bolton Claus. <laughs> Uh, no, just look. Bolton. See all this. Look, Grimner's even posting this Trump state news crap. You know, it's like <sighs> fantasy land. I'm telling you, man. The you know, the bartender was making fun of Donald Trump the other day when I, when I went to the bar. I think it was yesterday. Yesterday, I I went sometime this week where this actually. <laughs> I was amazed, but yep, she was mocking of Donald Trump. <laughs> She said, you don't like Donald Trump, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so with the question, that's the first thing she said. I went, well, why? <laughs> Let's hear your argument. <laughs> kind of like so, a, a, a foot race with against a cripple. and just there ain't no competition there, right? How can you look, not make fun of Trump? He's made to be fun of, made fun of. But, all right, but this particular bartender will be the one that plays Led Zeppelin on the uh, the stereo system. And the customers, her peers, will complain about the Led Zeppelin, play something lighter. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. And <laughs> reluctantly, she's got to do what the, the customers want. So yeah. me and her just grumble, and she turns off Zeppelin and puts on some Frank Sinatra or something. You know any Frank Sinatra songs? Oh, yeah, lots of lots of them. Why, you want to fly me to the moon? I know my wife does. My wife flies Flashco airway fly traveling. Me. Yeah, we go to the moon, baby. <laughs> That's fun. Ain't that right, honey? We go to When we fly, we go to the moon. <laughs> hey, Dennis Rodman would be a great replacement for uh, oh, Ginsburg. Wow. You know who else? I think we should just replace all nine with... Like nine different people, nine broke people, nine random broke people from the streets of Detroit. <laughs> I'll bet you get fair loss. <laughs> bet you wouldn't. <laughs> You'd get the same shit you got now. Because when you put nine people in control of 300 million, they're going to abuse it. You got to be part of the club. I don't want to be part of the club. You can take your club and you can put it where the club don't shine. What do you think of that? <laughs> I 
huh? Huh? Answer me, boy. I'm talking to you. Uh, oh, there. Hmm. Uh, the pipe. The end of the show pipe. F- for the per... Hmm, what's the right word? For the perfect smoke in a perfect world. By a perfect person. <laughs> How I'm far can go, I go with that? Yeah. I'm going to go with the 60-40 hybrid. Really? Yeah. Well, perfect. why? Isn't it ironic you need, you need oil to make electricity? So let's get electric, people. <laughs> oh, scammed. <laughs> Not hydro. Fuck. Look, if they're going to do it, they should just done what Henry Ford tried to do in the first place. And then what he did in 1943. But no. We live among, amongst these complete fucking imbeciles that insist on destroying everything that they touch for profit. Profit! I want money. Money! You know what most of them are? They say. Thieves. No, but my people get the brunt of the bitching, you know, but there's a lot of other people that, you know, riding the tail coat of the Jew make a lot of money. Now, you got to stop. You, you got to you got to stop. You act like white people or have uh, become they're like the, this white tribe is the Jews. It's not. Oh, no, no. White people. ain't. No, this isn't about color. This is about so we're talking about religion of, and group of people. No, 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 the, no, those. no, no. We're talking about hijacking a religion and replacing it with um, you, the, the leaders were using the same story, but they weren't living up to it. So they're just lying to people. <laughs> you, you just keep getting screwed harder and harder by the same people over and over. <laughs> and then even sometimes they've. 20 years goes by and this guy, they change him out with another guy, but he's just as bad or worse than the guy he replaced. And the public doesn't seem to catch this. I, and I think, wow, <laughs> they're missing the meetings. You'll, you'll uh, avoid that sort of thing if you'll stay out ahead and not stop and bend over. Yeah, so you know what I did? Didn't stop, drop, and bend over? I, no, I'm sitting my butt down on a couch right now. Nice. Closing up in a in a perfect world with you, getting ready to tell everybody about what's coming up soon to be on the reallibertymediate.com. You going to tell everybody? No, you are, I thought. You, you do the times. Okay. And you got this all that is, memorized. Uh, yeah, okay. Tomorrow, Grants comes along at uh, 6 p.m. her time. That's in Kansas Central. That'll uh, be uh, 7 on the East Coast. Uh, Freaker Friday, she's right on back at the very same time. And then following Grim comes up with the Moose Girl on uh, the Freakers Ball, y'all. And uh, let's see. Then we're going. I, I'm sorry. I forgot. It. I think uh, when Art's going to be doing the music thing there, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Like, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I believe. Yeah, yeah, let, me, uh, let me do that. Let's see. Show. Yeah, you can put it up on the screen. Yeah. Hey, Grimner. There we go. I had a I had a Thanks. fun time today. Yeah. Giving Vinny the hard time is fun. There it is. Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 p.m. Hey. So he'll be the up tonight. Yeah. So, yeah. With He's playing some music. Underground. Yes, yes, yes. And then we'll uh, come on along to the dork table on Saturday, and it's at uh, noon Eastern time. <laughs> there he is right there. How comes along yeah. On Sundays, behind the woodshed, every every Sunday. Halliburton. <laughs> Halliburton. Long and long. Yeah, there's some uh, Hal Anthony. valuable. I'm just joking now. That valuable listeners from behind the woodshed, uh, uh, like Hal, and listened to him for a very long time. And uh, of course, uh, Grimner. Before that, is uh, we're playing trivia Whoa. on Sundays, uh, kicking Going off backwards. at nine. Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's at noon. At noon Eastern. Uh, <laughs> Start playing some uh, some blues, blues. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and trivia, and uh, you got to have fast fingers. I'm going to tell wow. you what, it's, and uh, be smart too. And well, a lot that, of that stuff, wow, it, some of that stuff's hard to know. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah, well, for uh, me, I didn't. I don't know. I don't do the opera so good. And that uh, then then the art again. He's going <laughs> to debut. He he's going to come along. It's uh, five Eastern. 
Uh, he's coming to air right here at reallibertymedia.com, rlmradio.xyz. And uh, let's do – I like this, Grimmer. Uh, just feature you got in here. Show art. Or, uh, whoops, I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. well. Wow. And uh, this is it right here. Show. Well, the, there you go. Point, and then art. Yes, it is. Uh, it's uh, Straight Talk 101 with Art Underground, Sundays at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Dun, 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 dun. There you have it. Okay, everybody. And say goodnight, Alice. Good night. I had a good time. Had a good time there, V. I'll see you next time on the In a Perfect World program. Peace, peace, peace.